ارزونا ارزونا للمنى حبرنا هو المجد للولى الحمد لله Today is the 20th day of Ramadan corresponding to the 30th of March. Evidently most of Ramadan is gone. Nonetheless the best part of it is yet to come. The best dua that Imam Ibn Majah reported in his own Sunan that our mother Aisha said when I asked the Prophet what is the best form of dua prayer to make when I'm blessed to witness that night of Qadr. He peace be upon him responded say Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbu al-'afwa fa'fu 'anni aw madha isha said ara'ayta in wufiqtu tell me o oh prophet if i'm blessed to reach if i'm able to reach that night of qadr so being in this last 10 days of ramadan is a blessing you are not just randomly selected to be part of it this is a blessing from allah not everybody gets it in ayah 183 in surah al-baqarah chapter 2 allah already told us that ramadan is only few days right now if you are asked how do you evaluate the days of ramadan it's like this quick it's like it just started it's like you went to sleep you just woke up and today is the 20th day this tells you that just like the way ramadan went so fast so is your life this is a wake up call to let you know that ramadan just started and now is coming to an end so is your life you just started if you are asked what do you remember of 2020 you can't even remember much what happened in 2021 you can't remember much what happened in 2022 you can't recall much what happened in 2023 less will you recall so this tells you just like the ramadan was going you still busy with life but you kept in mind that ramadan will come to an end so is your life no matter how busy you are no matter how engaged you are no matter how tight schedule you have know that that tight schedule will never be loosened for you to get ready it's just going to be tighter and tighter it's just going to be busier and busier no one has been created to get less busy as he or she grows up the more you grow the more you live the busier you become so there's no room for you to say when i'm ready i will switch and flip the page so that i can have a clean sheet with almighty no as you are getting busier and busier know that the owner of time the one who owns your life the day he decides to call you ramadan at least he told us ramadan is 30 days what is scary about our lives is that he did not tell us how much i don't know how much left for me you don't know how much left for you she doesn't know how much left for her and none of us knows how much left the more busy we become the more conscious we are about our hereafter because it comes quickly almighty says la ta'tikum illa baghta it only comes suddenly before you open your eyes where am i brother you in the grave where am i says you in the grave that's how life goes and that's why there are some people that are known as the undercover heavyweight champions of the world the more busy they get the more ready they were with meeting allah subhanahu wa ta'ala know that your life is quickly leaving you so as you preparing for the end of ramadan prepare for the end of your life what will happen then at least you know ramadan is either 29 or 30 you don't know how much left for you and that's why in this last 10 days of ramadan i would like to share with you some heavyweight people Tyson Fury get none to do with those heavyweight because it's not closer to them Anthony Joshua neither Alexander Usyk is not Tyson in his prime never Muhammad Ali in his prime never these are the true heavyweight that even our heavyweight champions today must take as their role models if you imitate the best and you come like half of them it's better than imitating the worst and getting 100% of them so welcome to the undercover heavyweight champions of the world the first undercover heavyweight champion that we would like to talk about is Khalid Ibn Ma'dan a heavyweight champion that met 70 of the sahaba of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this heavyweight champion of the world Khalid Ibn Ma'dan Habib Ibn Salih said ma khifna ahadan min an-nas ma khifna Khalid Ibn Ma'dan Habib ibn Salih said 
we have never feared any among mankind as much as we feared Khalid ibn Ma'dan. One may think maybe he was a king, uh, he was a warrior, that when you see you become so frightened. No, this man was a faqih, he was a jurist. But why did they fear him that much? As for the why, it's what we will close today's talk with, insha'Allah ta'ala. This is the man that once seen, people fold themselves and get back into their shelves. This man, Umar ibn Ju'thum said, كان إذا قعد خالد بن معدان لم يقدر أحد أن يذكر الدنيا عنده هيبة الله ابن جعثم said whenever خالد ابن معدان sits nobody around him could mention anything of worldly affairs but that's when scholars were truly scholars that's when scholars had their own prestige يا سبحان الله prestigious imam people around him out of respect cannot talk freely although he did not deprive them of speaking but this is the respect that they have formed Yazid ibn Harun said this man passed away while fasting and here is the reason why they feared him so much Salama ibn Shabib said كان خالد بن معدان يسبح الله في اليوم أربعين ألف مرة سلمة بن شبيب ابن شبيب said خالد بن معدان used to make ذكر he used to recite تسبيح 40,000 times a day سوى ما يقرأ من القرآن apart from what he recites of القرآن when he passed away and we put him on the bench to wash his body, as we were washing his body, we saw his hands moving this way. The same way he used to make tasbih. So even tasbihin and dhikrin after death. Allahu Akbar. There are a number of lessons to obtain from here. Number one, reciting dhikr so much, 40,000 times, that did not take him away from reciting Quran. There are some people that dhikrin takes them away from Quran or they do recite less of Quran because of their dhikr, forgetting that Quran is the best dhikr. So although reciting 40,000 times, he still maintains his Quran and never forget it. And that's why we say to the brothers who love to make dhikr and make to recite dhikr, that's a good thing. But don't forget your Quran. Don't forget the dhikr of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some people are prescribing dhikr to their students for them to recite. So much so that those students will recite those dhikr more often than they recite the adhkaru sabahi wal masa that the Prophet never forgot in his life to recite. They will make the dua prescribed by their scholars and teachers so much so that they forget to make the dhikr that the Prophet ﷺ himself prescribed, which are the best. But you know, because shaitan, when he knows that there is something that gets people closer to Allah, he tries to trick them in it. To take from someone that is not prescriber of dhikr more than the one whom Allah allowed to prescribe dhikr for us. So Khalid ibn Ma'dan, although residing 40,000 dhikr, 40,000 dhikr a day, but Quran was more than the dhikr to him. He never forgot that. Number two, making dhikr with your own hands for a number of reasons. Number one. This hands will witness for you on the day of Qiyamah. So what you do with it will come and be a witness. And it will speak. The day the hands will speak, the dhikr beats will not be in that hands. So try to maintain it and do it with that. Number three, when you make dhikr with that dhikr beats or when you are seen with it, shaitan could sneak underneath it and take some of your ikhlas away. So that could minimize ikhlas. Next, it's not the practice of the Salaf al-Salih. You will see the Lai Lama with the long dhikr beads, but you will not see a Sahabi with it. So it's better to return to that of Sahaba. And lastly, which is better than all, for the fact that the Prophet did not use it, it's more than enough for me not to use it and for you not to use it. And make dhikr that is prescribed by him and may Allah answer your own dhikr that was Khalid ibn Ma'dan through dhikr he became the most feared so if you want people to have respect for you if you want to be popular if you want the world to know you it's through dhikr 
wala dhikrullah akbar the dhikr of allah is the greatest khalid ibn ma'dan passed away more than 1300 years ago but we are talking about him in 2024 everybody knows you brother when you check out it's over it's like you've never been adil imam the most popular comedian in egypt he didn't check out but yet the generation today is like you've never been Paul Mooney of America some may not even know who he was and Komodo of Ghana like he's never been Mr Ibu he passed away it's over his even leg was amputated but where the fans so if you are among those who love popularity seek it from Allah to be popular among the angels your popularity will remain forever but being popular on earth is related to your life when you pass it goes along with you and we rather be popular with the angels than being popular on earth may allah make us of those who make dhikr and for the dhikr to witness for them on the day of qiyama so today's undercover heavyweight champion of the world is khalid ibn ma'dan may allah have mercy and rahma upon him and may he guide us to follow his footsteps wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh حرزنا حرزنا حرزنا